Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're all having a absolutely fantastic day. I just thought at the start of this video I would do a quick life update because a lot has happened and since filming the 2019 plans video I have planned a lot more trips and let's just say I'm paying for it, literally I am, I am paying for it, like my bank is like crying at the minute but you know on the plus side we're, we're going, we're travelling the country this year and I don't think I will ever travel the country as much as I am this year in my whole entire life unless I become some kind of millionaire and can afford more trips than what I've done this year but anyway I thought I'd quickly update you on the new added trips I guess and what you guys have to look forward to from those new added trips um, because they are all to do with like tours and shows which I'm going to watch um, in various different parts of the UK and therefore you guys will be able to see the vlogs from that show and I'm also hoping to meet up with a couple more internet friends I guess which I don't even call them internet friends anymore because of how long I've spoken to them for they are now just like friends because I speak to them on a daily basis and I honestly cannot wait to see them okay so this video that you are guy you guys you guys are currently watching is going to be a q and a but i'm just going to tell you the date first and then we're going to get into the questions i'm not planning on answering a lot of questions because i don't want to make this video too long with the life update on top of it. i have been ill since wednesday no tuesday night so on wednesday thursday and friday i was off school I missed half, the other half of my media exam on the Wednesday, so I'm praying to God that they reschedule it, otherwise I've only done half the exam, basically. Woohoo! Um, which also meant that the weekend just gone, I filmed a in the pan kind of video with Alicia, and I was going to edit that, but I couldn't. I couldn't actually physically bring myself to editing it because of how ill I was. I'm not going to go into any details because it's kind of gruesome and I don't think any of you guys would want to hear but let's put it this way, I could not physically leave my bed without being sick. I planned literally about maybe a week or two ago to go to Birmingham this coming Friday with my friend Natalie Um, we're going to see the Pro Tour and honestly I'm going to be unstable. I haven't... Um, been to Birmingham ever in my life before so it's going to be a new experience for me I'm excited to see what it's got to offer but you know you've got to go out your comfort zone I am quite anxious to go but you know just gonna face it it's not I'm not as scared as I was to go to London which I think is a good sign because when I went to London for the first time by myself in December to meet Joan Diane that was a whole new experience and I'd been to London before yeah I was very nervous this time I'm not as nervous, however I probably will be nervous when I wake up on Friday morning. What you guys can look forward to is a vlog. Here we go. I am going to Birmingham, I've already said that. And then I am going on the 2nd of June, no, <laughs> hold up Hannah. On the 1st of June I am going to Sunderland Pro Tour which is the second last date and it's in Sunderland so that's my most local show from the Pro Tour. Obviously Birmingham is like three hours away on a train, like six hours in the car. First I'm going to Sunderland to watch the Pro Tour by myself on front row. I've got front row ticket and I'm not going to be able to cope seeing all the pros so close up dancing their little hearts out to, you know, just commemorate the time when they danced with Pasha for one of the last times. I'm going to the matinee, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, I'm going to that one. And then on the second, so literally the day after, I'm also going to the last ever pro to our date there is, still in Sunderland, I know they finished in Sunderland, God bless them. Um, 
and I'm going to that one too. I don't have front row for that one. However, I'm not too far from the front and I am just going to enjoy it because it's like Pasha's last dance. I'm telling you now, I'm going to scream my loudest for that man because his choreography and everything is always insane on Strictly and I'm going to miss it massively. Now on to um, Here Come The Girls, I guess. It, when in making of this video, I am not trying to brag about all these dates. Half of these dates, my mum has got me to kind of cheer me up. I know that sounds pathetic, but like I've been feeling quite low at the minute. Um, and the only way to cheer me up is to give me tickets and send me off to another place in the UK. <laughs> Literally. I'm going to Hull on the 11th of June, which is obviously the first Here Come The Girls back. I cannot wait to see that. Um, I'm going to be meeting Holly, who I haven't met before. I'm going to be meeting her there, and she's from Ull, so I'm going to have to speak like I'm from Ull, um, so she can understand me. But she's hopefully meeting me at the train station, otherwise I will end up getting lost and not know where to go, and I'll have to use Google Maps, and they, it's not always reliable. And I think that's the only thing I've added, and I don't think I'll be going, sorry to everybody, who thought I was, I do apologise. I will be going next year without a doubt. I don't think I'll be going to some in the city this year. It could change, I could end up going, but I don't think I am because I'm going on a summer holiday instead, like abroad. Um, we weren't meant to be going on holiday this year because I've got a wedding coming up, not my wedding, obviously not, but I've got a wedding coming up, which, which is my cousin's, and we are having to pay a lot for like the dresses and everything, um, like the outfits, and I'm filming it, so, I'm going to have to get more camera equipment and everything. So it is going to be a very expensive wedding, but we weren't going to go on a family holiday abroad, but now I think we are, so I don't think I'll be going to swim in the city. However, if I become lucky and get an early Christmas present, then I might be. Now on to the questions, I guess. Molly says, what is your favourite song at the minute? So I'm going to see my favourite artist because it's different to my favourite song. My favourite artist at the minute is Sleeping At Last, so basically any song from them I absolutely adore, especially the song Make You Feel My Love, which is obviously by Adele originally, but then, yeah, sung by them just makes my heart, like, burst. It's Bless The Broken Road, you probably know it from, um, from Hannah Montana, I think that's the, the most popular place it's been. Um, played on but it's quite an old song I think I don't know who it's from originally I listened to the one by Travis Atrio because honestly his voice is spectacular and it's quite a sad song well it's slow and therefore people think it's sad but the lyrics and everything it's just amazing I'm gonna play a little bit of it I obviously I'm not gonna play the whole song so don't get copyrighted just don't worry I'm not gonna sing don't want to hurt your ears Next question is by, I don't know this person's name, so I'm not going to say her name. Also, I don't know if she would want me to say her name. Favourite thing about Diane. So if you don't know who Diane is, Diane is my number one idol. Honestly, I can't even pick. Like, I can't even choose. If I had to, and I mean, like, if I was, like, getting held at gunpoint to choose, it would be just her positivity and her outlook and her attitude towards life and obviously her beauty as well like she's absolutely flawless like but her attitude towards everything in life is so admirable and inspirational and she just sees the positive in everything that's what she's kind of taught me and yeah I think that is enough to admire anybody in my opinion if you don't know who Diane Buswell is then have you been living under a rock? Okay, I'm going to only answer three more questions simply because I've got to go to the shops and uh, get my tea because, well, my dinner because I haven't made any food yet and it's like 20 past 12 and I'm babysitting my brother, so. If you could only watch Joe or Diane, who would you choose? Diane. <laughs> I mean, I know that was pretty straightforward. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely adore Joe's videos and obviously if I could choose two of them, to, if I could spoil them, I would. Um, but it would be Diane. Like her editing skills are just so unique. Like the fact that she puts titles over everything just to show her like her thoughts and just she's just so herself on her videos. I'm not saying Joe's not, 
but like her editing skills just crack me up every time and without a doubt every single one of her videos makes me laugh next question is from aria i know aria because she lives like pretty near me we need to like meet up soon by the way if you're watching this hopefully you are we need to we need to meet up soon considering we're meeting up in like june to go to whitley bay we need to meet up before then just saying fave joe and diane dance they did on strictly the waltz the waltz to rainbow connection because that is sleeping at last and as i said before i love sleeping at last and um, also the dance like i remember watching it and my body just tingling like even just sitting here thinking about about it my body is going into like shutdown mode and I'm, I'm just tingling getting goosebumps everywhere look at all the hairs in my arms they're literally st like standing up and i've got goosebumps that is weird but yeah um has to be that one uh closely followed by the quick step because i absolutely adore the quick step and the viennese waltz as you can tell i prefer um ballroom i love seeing diane in ballroom and joe in ballroom i really think he excelled in ballroom um, as well as Latin, of course. The, the favourite dance I didn't do on Strictly, I know that isn't the question, but the favourite dance I didn't do on Strictly would be the rumba. I cannot wait to see the rumba. Also, the fact that him and Diana went into a training room like a couple of weeks ago and went through all their dances that they'd done to see how much you could remember breaks my heart. Okay, the next question is from Molly. What made you start YouTube? Um... I've had this question quite a lot, um, as is quite a lot of you guys who are new onto this channel. Um, I'm going to say it again, and it is Video Star. Yeah, I started Video Stars in back in the day, you know, and I thought instead of sharing these with just my family or seeing them myself, why not let let the world see them potentially? I am so thankful that not a lot of people have seen them and I still don't think I've privated them yet but I'm going to, don't you worry about that. Videos that I regret now but if it weren't for them then I wouldn't have this channel and have you guys following me on here so thank you very much for, for clicking the subscribe button if you have already it means the absolute world to me and I know I have a fan account and everything like seeing you guys message me saying oh i came from your youtube is absolutely insane like i think that some of you found my youtube before my fan account surprises me so much but yeah and I, I i also started youtube not just because of video star but like i wanted to share my life and my humor if i have any with people who watch me i guess people who would care to watch me who would want to and I never ever thought I would get past 50 subscribers never mind 800 and whatever that is where I'm going to end this video here though because I have done a life update at the very start and I feel like this video is going to be incredibly long and yes obviously I don't mind editing it, editing an incredibly long video um but you guys have the in the pan one to look forward to after this video but I thought I'd get this out before that one um, so I need to edit this one quite fast in order to update you on why I haven't edited that video yet because I know that some of you guys know that I was filming it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay positive and stay you because you are beautiful and you got to believe it. you, you got to believe it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Goodbye. Like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with your mates and I'll see you in the next one.